Hey, what's going on? So, uh, I had kind of an interesting day yesterday. Uh, well, first of all, I, I don't have TV. I pretty much gave up TV about seven years ago. But uh, Sundays, I usually will get out movies. I have Amazon Prime. And that's why usually I'll turn on my TV and relax and watch stuff on Sundays. Uh, yesterday, I'm going to tell you the story a little out of order because we're going to jump around a little bit. But I'll tell you, I watched four different things yesterday. First, I watched this uh, thing called Zach Morris is Trash, which it's just uh, kind of going over things that Zach Morris did on Saved by the Bell and showing you that he, he wasn't he wasn't a very good guy. Things that you may not have thought too deeply about before. Uh, after that, I watched the movie Eight Millimeter. Then I watched Primal Fear. And then I went, when I went to sleep, I put on the show Between Two Ferns to fall asleep to. And all of these things ended up being interrelated somehow. I've never seen any of these before. I just randomly chose to watch those yesterday. And I want to go over everything that I noticed. So first of all, the first thing I watched was Zach Morris is Trash. And in the first episode, it talks about uh, Jesse's stepbrother. And at this point in the episode, they're in his room, and I noticed in the background this Misfits poster, which that stood out to me right away because, you know, Misfits are one of my favorite bands, and I thought of me right away for the last year or so they've been doing reunion shows of the original lineup, which is the first time it's been done in 30 years or so. So I noticed that right away. So next, I watched the movie Eight Millimeter with Nicolas Cage. And at the end of the movie, he's going through uh, the guy he's looking for. He's in his bedroom. And then I noticed this poster on the wall. It's a Danzig poster. And Danzig was the original lead singer for The Misfits. And... You can't really see it right here, but that's Danzig right here. There's another Danzig poster. And I think there was even a couple other things, more Danzig stuff all over in this guy's bedroom. So I thought that was really strange. You know, I'd never seen Zach Morris's trash. I'd never seen 8mm, and I just happened to notice those posters. And uh, the next thing I thought was odd was when I was watching 8mm, I'd never seen it before, but it's about uh, Nicolas Cage is a private investigator. He gets called to look over this snuff film this old lady found in her deceased husband's possession. And there's a woman in the film. It appears that she was murdered. And the lady wants him to figure out if she really was killed and who these people were in the film, where it came from. And after I watched this movie, I watched the movie Primal Fear, which was another older one. I'd never seen these before. I was a kid when they came out. My parents never would have let me watch any of these movies. But that movie was about uh, a guy who murders the archbishop, and the attorney who defends him in the trial, and uh, kind of a twist in the movie, come to find out that uh, this archbishop had made this kid and his girlfriend and another altar boy forcibly make a sex video for the archbishop to watch. He was a sicko, too. So I thought it was kind of weird that I watched these two movies I'd never seen before, really didn't know anything about, and they both end up being about perverted people, you know, doing weird stuff with videos. And also the number of people involved in these videos in the movie was the same too, which I kind of thought was weird. In 8mm, it's uh, a wo young woman and one guy that's in this video, and they figure out there's a guy watching and another guy running the camera. So there's four people. And in the movie Primal Fear, when they find the tape that the Archbishop had, there's the three people in front of the camera and the archbishop behind the camera. So there's four people 
involved in both of these movies with these crazy, weird sexual videos. So that was another odd sync up. Now, um, in the movie Primal Fear, the person who plays the uh, kid who kills the archbishop is Edward Norton. Now I'm going to show you how this was weird with uh, the episode of Between Two Ferns I watched right after watching that movie. So then I started watching this show, Between Two Ferns, and the first episode I watched was, it had James Franco in it, and if you don't know what that show is, it's, uh, it's just a short little show about five minutes long from funnierdie.com. Zach Galifianakis hosts it. And he has famous people on, and he is just really mean to them the whole time. On this particular episode, he had James Franco on, and he asked him, I think it was, who his favorite actor was. And he said Edward Norton, which I thought was weird because I just watched that movie before. Well, right after that, it after he said that, he said, well, if you like him so much, why don't you marry him, you know, just as a joke. And then right after that, they did a musical guest which they don't do on this show and it was just a joke music video they made about partying spring break with girls and then rain the end of the uh chorus it's and then marry a dude or something you know just something ridiculous but uh, throughout the video edward norton is actually in the music video with james franco here so I thought all that was really weird, you know, but I thought I had to document that. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all, but, you know, it's just weird that the one time of the week I turn my TV on, I watch four different things, and they all just kind of synced up together with things like that, you know, and it was all four things I'd never watched before. I didn't know anything about them. So, uh, you know, just thought I'd t talk about that. Peace.